Inside the Monica After Story game for DDLC, there is a very convenient settings menu. In this video, I'm going to be explaining all the settings, including how to get this cool looking dark mode UI. And I'm going to be going more into depth on unstable mode. First of all, we got the basic display settings. Windowed mode will make it windowed. As you can tell, my screen got smaller by clicking that. And full screen, will, as you can tell, it just got a lot bigger. Full screen mode can be a little buggy and mess up the mouse, so I wouldn't recommend turning that on. Graphics. This stuff is more advanced settings for people who are having problems running the game. Pretty much, it's different rendering APIs. Disable animation is another setting for lower end PCs that maybe can't handle a lot of the cool animations that the game can, like that slide effect and Monica blinking and her famous eye thing. But if you have a pretty decent system, there's really no need for that. UI night mode is what I have here. It's the dark theme. I think it looks great and I would recommend turning it on. It also helps save your eyeballs. UI day and night cycle. This one changes it from day and night depending on the type of day. So I'm going to turn this one on, and since I'm recording this in the evening, it's still on night, but if it was day, it would change it. Biggest question ever, unstable. As you can tell from the bottom, it downloads updates from the experimental unstable branch of development, and it is highly recommended to make backups before turning the setting on. Pretty much what it does is gives you access to new features that are not in the game yet, so pretty useful for developers or content creators like me because there are a lot of cool updates that are coming out. But again, it can be pretty, well, unstable. So making a backup of your saved progress is strongly recommended. I have a guide for that if you are interested. Repeat topics allows Monica to talk about the same things she already talked about in those random dialogue conversations. I have mine turned off. I'll go more into depth about that later. Windows Detect is an interesting one. Pretty much this one allows Monica to see what you're doing on other tabs or programs. And this one does allow the game to see what you're doing. So if you don't like Monica accessing your personal information, turn that off. Turning it on can allow for some pretty interesting features like Monica to make comments about Chrome tab you're on or certain programs you're opening. Just going to speed through a bunch of these since they're not really important. All of these sunrise and sunset settings just choose when it's day or night. Text speed will make the speed go either slower or faster if you think the text on the game is a bit too slow you can bump that up and it'll make this text right here go a bit faster i personally think it's a bit slow so turning it up can be pretty useful auto forward time is for the automatic setting in the text box random chatter again you can change this from never she'll never bring up random conversations in this menu right here and turning it up will make it more often ambient volume is sound and music is you know, music and then sound volume is master volume then mute off just to disable all the sound effects update version is to update the game which is recommended if you are having problems with the game or just want new features and import ddlc save data just for some bonus settings right here alerts are pretty much notifications if you're using windows react mode like i am right now i would recommend turning on using notifications because if you have that off i don't think it works allow filters these will allow notifications for certain things. So again, if you have Windows Reaction on, you need to have this on to get the Windows React notification. If you do not have it on, you won't get any notifications. And of course, you gotta have notifications enabled on Windows too. And topic alerts will just tell you when Monica has something to say. I do have a lot of other guides for Monica After Story. So if you wanna see those, check out this playlist right here. And thank you guys for watching.